Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel. In today's podcast-like video, two anonymous yet seasoned Jelvix experts compare the Mern stack and full stack development, all the way from top use cases and benefits to major bottlenecks and potential solutions. Let's dive in. As a Mern stack developer, I'll advocate for Mern, a powerful combination of four key technologies, MongoDB, Express.js, React, and Node.js. Jumping into full stack development. Unlike Mern, this approach allows for using various frameworks depending on project needs. I can use front-end tools like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and frameworks such as React, Angular, or Vue. Backend technologies choices include Node.js with Express.js, Ruby on Rails, or Django and Flask for Python projects. For those interested, I prefer full stack development because it allows me to tailor my tech stack to match the specific needs of projects, whether it's e-commerce, task management, travel booking, or inventory management. Hold on, Mern could also be suitable for all these projects. Using JavaScript throughout the entire application allows seamless integration between front-end and back-end, and also enables to reuse the code, which reduces duplication and improves maintainability. Plus, it lets me leverage the rich JavaScript ecosystem without learning new languages. That sounds great, but we both know Mern is not perfectly suited for any project. For example, let's take a project that involves handling sensitive data. The Mern stack and MongoDB in particular may not be able to provide a sufficient level of ACID compliance, which can be critical for projects like financial systems, healthcare information systems, e-commerce platforms with payment processing, and others. In those cases, full stack development featuring PostgreSQL or MySQL might be a better fit. I agree with you on the potential issue here. However, ACID compliance can be efficiently addressed by leveraging MongoDB support for multi-document transactions. Adding to that, the thing I love about the Mern stack is its simplicity and speed, which can be extremely advantageous in cases of developing simple, lightweight apps. Conversely, using a full stack with multiple languages and frameworks can add complexity and overhead thus hindering a streamlined development. Well, I can always opt for a more lightweight and focused tech stack, such as a single page application framework like React.js or Vue.js, paired with Express.js or Flask for backend development. It can minimize complexity while still providing the necessary functionality. However, if your project involves complex relationships between entities and requires sophisticated relational data modeling, like in cases of CRM, ERP systems, or multi-tenant SaaS apps, MEND and particularly MongoDB might not be the best fit here. Its document-oriented nature may not handle relational complexities as efficiently as relational databases. So frameworks like Django with PostgreSQL might be more suitable here. Well, there's a solution here as well. To address these MongoDB limitations, advanced data modeling techniques can be used, such as embedding and referencing documents, combining them with relational databases, or leveraging application-level joins. Additionally, MongoDB's aggregation framework offers a powerful and flexible way to perform complex data processing and transformations. These strategies help optimize MongoDB's performance and maintain data consistency in complex applications. The thing is, you keep mentioning the complexity requirements. Well, it's the complexity that is often a serious bottleneck, especially in full-stack development projects requiring seamless integration of front-end interfaces with back-end modules. MernStack can ensure seamless execution here. Meanwhile, integrating different technologies in a full-stack environment can complicate managing dependencies, configuring build tools, and handling front-end back-end compatibility issues. And on top of that, launching full stack apps with different tech stacks may require more complex deployment pipelines, configuration management, and infrastructure setup than deploying a cohesive MERN stack app. Well, integration bottlenecks in full stack development can be solved by adopting standardized practices. Using consistent coding standards, employing robust build and deployment pipelines, utilizing containerization tools like Docker, and leveraging comprehensive testing frameworks like Jest, PyTest, and RSpec. They all contribute to the solution. Well, there's more to it. Full-stack applications may consume more system resources, such as memory and CPU, all due to the overhead of managing multiple processes, interpreters, and runtime environments. Well, while I acknowledge the resource utilization challenges, they can be mitigated thanks to caching mechanisms, CDNs, vertical and horizontal scaling, asynchronous processing, code optimization, and other strategies. By the way, talking about memory and CPU, let's consider projects requiring heavy CPU-intensive computations, background processing, or long-running tasks. The Mern stack component Node IJS may not be the best choice for them due to its single-threaded, non-blocking I.O. nature. I'd better choose Python with libraries like Celery or Java with frameworks like Spring. Actually, this aspect can be addressed by using Node.js worker threads. Integrating worker threads allows for parallel task execution. It significantly enhances Node.js scalability and efficiency, making it capable of handling CPU-intensive tasks. All right, but there is still the performance efficiency aspect. If your project has strict performance requirements, such as low latency, high throughput, or real-time processing of large data sets, the MERN stack may not be the optimal choice in all cases, and alternative technologies or optimizations may be required. Well, MERN has many strategies in place. 
caching mechanisms, load balancing, optimizing code and queries, horizontal scaling, microservices architecture, you name it. Besides, full stack applications may face performance issues too, due to the use of multiple technologies and layers. Obviously, integrating diverse front end and back end components adds latency and data processing, requiring extra effort to optimize. In summary, while full stack development can address some MERN bottlenecks better, MERN can also be highly efficient in many cases. MERN excels in small, lightweight apps needing rapid prototyping, highly interactive web apps, and projects with microservices architecture due to its robust combination of MongoDB, Express.js, React.js, and Node.js. Additionally, its native support for JSON data handling simplifies management and manipulation of data structures. That's it for now. Have you enjoyed our discussion? If so, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. Also, check out our related video, and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.